some shit like that. Life's fucked up though, man. Anybody that knows me, if you followed my comedy career for the 20 years I've been doing this shit, you know I married a black woman 27 years ago. No, I don't want no applause because you don't know what she put me through. <laughs> Did you notice that a black man clapped? Not one. Every black man put his head down. He was like, shit, damn. They think they relate with me like they feel my pain. You don't feel my pain. I didn't grow up around black people. So the shit that I wasn't privy to, I wasn't exposed to shit. Like, no disrespect to any woman in this room, but 27 years ago, I didn't know what the fuck this meant. I didn't know what this was. I thought the bitch had Tourette and didn't tell me. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, my head itches. I said, well, scratch it. She's like, I am. That's not how white people scratch out their heads, but all right. I never saw a black pussy back in the day. Because there was no porn like there is now. You get the shit free to your phone. It was VHS tapes. And they weren't ours, they were our dads. We always got caught watching them because we never remembered where he left off at. Because everybody got a different cum shot. My dad's cum shot was different than mine. I don't know what he liked. Because you had to be technical. You had to remember the numbers on the VCR. You had to rewind it back to those same numbers. It was at 982, you had to rewind it back to 982. Then came the DVD. All you had to do was put it in press play. The only way you can get caught watching somebody's DVD is if they left it, if you left it in the DVD player. Otherwise, you couldn't get caught. And I hated black porn, too, because as soon as you put the DVD in and press play, they're already fucking. As soon as you put it in press play, he's like, yeah, take all this dick. And I'm like, how'd they meet? How do they know each other? Maybe they work together. And maybe they work together. They're probably, they're probably co-workers. They're probably co-workers. I never saw a black vagina, so I don't know if it's different. They did only white chicks. Only saw a white pussy. Because we hear stereotypes and myths and rumors about each other. This is what it is. Especially when you grow up only around your people. You just hear the shit. You don't know what's true and what's not true, so you roll with it. You believe it. Black men, plus, like black women, if you like white men, get your white man. Stop listening to the lie perpetuated by the black man and try to hold and keep the white man down. <laughs> Saying shit like all white guys got little dicks. How do you know? You telling on yourself, Tank? No one says no shit like that. And I can't speak for no man in his manhood. I got a big dick. I wear magnums, black box gold wrapper. I didn't say they fit, but I do the best I can. My balls and everything went into this rubber. I'm like, who the hell wears these? I didn't get the twisty from the bread and tie a knot in this thing. Rubber shouldn't be sagging like this. <laughs> Never saw a black vagina. So I don't know if it's different, man. Dated only white chicks. We dated for like three weeks. She said, get a hotel. I knew this was the day I was getting some ass because she said, get a hotel. First time you're going to be intimate, you're both a little self-conscious, so you're both under the covers. You got all the lights up, and you leave the TV on for a little bit of light. Depending on what's on the TV being shown, it's bright dim, bright dim. First time you do it, you gotta kiss for like two hours. Man, 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 man. Then you gotta suck this titty for 15 minutes. Then you gotta suck this titty for 15 minutes. Then you do both titties at the same time for another 10. All that porno shit. All that foreplay shit. Now she wants me to go down. I'm like, yes. Kissing all down her stomach in between her thighs. She's breathing all crazy back arts, going nuts. Right when I got ready to lick her pussy, the TV went bright, and that's when I saw a black vagina for the first time in my white life. I went from a white man to an Asian man. I was like, oh, oh. She thought it was something bad because she covered it up. Now I went from a white man to an Asian to a pervert. I'm like, move your hands, open it up, open it up. I want to see it. I sound like a rapist. I don't even know what a rapist sounds like. Open it up, I want to see it now. Open that pussy up. And the TV went bright again, I went back to Asian. Oh, she's like, what? I'm like, it looks like a steak. A lot of you looking at me crazy, you ever had steak? Any meaties in here? And those ain't no fuck all vegan crowd. So many fat people in here. I'm sick of you fat ass vegans too, lying. Fucking fat ass vegan. How are you a fat ass vegan? You're a fucking liar.
You ever see a steak? It's brown on the outside. Then when you cut it open, it's pink on the inside. She's like, well, stop looking at it. I'm like, no, I love steak. I don't know if I should eat this thing or eat this thing. Because you know, like white chicks, it looks like salmon. I'm like, Becky, yours ain't cooked yet. You need to put yours back in a skillet. Yours ain't done yet. You need to cook that up. Put about a little olive oil in about another five to seven minutes. Yeah, brown that up.